All right, Libra, let's see. Oh, geez. Oh, really? All right, loyal hearts. We're going to put these right side right. Uh, that's about fidelity. That is a preconceived need, and uh, it's the devil, let's just say. This right here, oh, geez, is um, Archangel Uriel. That is your crown chakra, and it has to do with your connection to spirit and uh, the Akashic record, so your soul path, the things that you should, shouldn't be doing, the people, whatever. So feminine energy, that's the empress. This is love, and this is peace. So we're going to take peace, um, freedom from attachment, because this is attachment. All right, y'all, let's see. Be a warrior, not a warrior. The only person you're destined to be is the person that you decide to come become. Ooh. All right. Let's see what's happening, y'all. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Loyal Hearts. What is this partnership is about right here? Ace of Wands. A gift, a new beginning, a spark, uh, a lot of healing. The means to take some sort of action here on, I don't know, something somebody could only think about in the past. I also feel like it's a hard time right here um with a partner about letting things go like it's really hard i don't even think it's really hard <clears throat> uh maybe somebody's having trouble doing some sort of math here with the page of pentacles but it's definitely uh somebody's got to make some sort of decision here page of wands about the future how is the situation gonna go and what's gonna go down the ten of cups Somebody's just trying to like be happy and keep keep all their things together. And this is just very hard to do in 2023. People can't afford things and all the stressors are like on alert. They're to their max, let's just say. What's this attachment? Ten of Wands, to the max. This is what I'm saying. So there's a lot of burdens. Somebody feels like they have to carry the things by themselves, but I don't feel like that's actually a true statement. Uh, the star and the king of wands yet again. I am watching Game of Thrones. So that's why I picked these ones up again and they're kind of in my face. So yeah, definitely uh, wishes coming true. We did see the nine of cups and uh, the star is out here. And Aquarius could have something to do with absolutely nothing. We saw death, which is Scorpio. There's the choice with the two of wands about, I don't know, like who do you want to be? Mask off. It's, these things take time. It takes time to work out all these Seven of Cups stuff that's been going on. Some things you're just not going to be able to deal with, Three of Swords. So it, there is definitely the world. So some things are getting left behind here, closing out cycles of heartbreak. It's also a lot of anxiety because it said, be a warrior, not a warrior. Uh, the universe puts things in front of you because you can do it. So, all right, what's Archangel Uriel talking about here? Uh, the magician and the high priestess. So, there you go with the connection to spirit. Uh, a lot of it. Free, I can, can I speak freely? But of course. So, y'all, like, have it's a huge contract here. Four wands. Somebody is, um, I don't know, all about their marriage. All about their partnership, all about the future. Here we go with the three of wands as I'm saying it. The tower, everything has been, is, will be, continue to change. But I feel like uh, this is stable. Chariot. Energy. The seven of pentacles. The investments, the, the plans that are people are putting in into play. They're coming to fruition, let's say. Uh, the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of things going to be coming in really rapidly. A lot of messages, a lot of traveling, to of swords. So there has been a lot of stalemates, let's say multiple situations. So you can uh, be sure that a lot of things are about to be left behind as the New York, new, new, new year is coming in. I really wanted to say New York, so who knows. Re freedom from attachment, which is uh, radical acceptance. The hanged man and the page of cups. Yeah, the lovers. There you go with the big choices here. Everything is about love. Somebody is enlightened. New work coming in, possibly. Eight of coins. See? Work. I love you, Spirit. You just, like, back my shit up. So the Page of Cups, incoming messages, there'll be a lot of them. A lot of them. Listen to your intuition as these messages are coming in. Five of Swords. Because not everything is great, but you can deal with the things 
uh, and be your best person. So you don't lower your vibe to get along with the people. You raise your vibe. And if that means the people and the situations have to go, they have to go. Some things are not meant to be fixed. And everything has an expiration date. All right. Let's have a look see what else we have got going on here. Tell me about it. Ooh. Twin Flame. 11-11. And the Devil. Again. And Libra. Justice. So, you know... Uh, it's not, I'm not saying like the bearer of bad news, but karma is, I mean, these are both very karmic cards and this is a, an awakening as well. Also about a mirror image. So definitely like the partners are, you know, picking up where the people leave off, the understanding. There's a cat catalyst and a lot of reflecting with the six of cups that was already been out. And this is a lot of heart, a lot of feelings. All right, and there's a magician with Mercury. Again, I don't know when this shit, that shit goes into retrograde again, but, uh. Mm. Two, eleven, eleven, two, 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 and that's some shits. And today, twelve, eleven happens to be I'm a Libra. Ah, uh, my, my ex. It's a marriage anniversary. I'm obviously not married anymore. All right, let's have a look. See, so a lot of magic, uh, and also problem solving. There'll be a, there's a need. New happenings and omens, so definitely listen to the signs and synchronicities. Uh, people are being awakened, so Capricorn, Libra, uh, confidence, building up people's confidence, and then flowers, a reconciliation. I went to go see my friend at the flower shop. I come home with flowers. So definitely about warmth and love and healing and uh, new cycles. Which is going to be painful. It's, it's painful. I don't know why it's so painful, but it is motherfucking painful. Unexpected shits, like I said. It's some good, some not so good, but uh, they're asking you to really pay attention here. Healing is about accepting, not forgetting. Somebody, uh, if you can't make the people understand, you've got to move it, keep it moving. If you don't like the road you're walking, start paving another one. I mean, honestly, Spirit, you're pretty awesome today. Obstacles are things a person sees when they take their eyes off their goal. Sometimes you're right. Hmm, you know, it doesn't always feel good to be right. But if you're always right and the people are not listening and shits like that, then you just need to... All right, well, you know, you can go fuck off. Oh, an apology. Uh, I do feel like people are using people as doormats as well. Positive thinking will let you do everything better. Everything better than negative thinking will you are my witness declares the lord and my servant i mean you're here doing the things with archangel uh uriel for a reason money's the root to all evil the devil the matrix that this is like hell on earth y'all hell on earth certainly can't can't take the things with you but we, we need enough to get through each day uh mm, i can't if it seems like somebody's out to get you they are there's no such thing as a coincidence cause and effect the only way to get better is surround yourself with people who believe in you i do feel like there's been problems and things popping up only because they are getting solved and people now have the ability to solve them they have the ability to say no to say yes to embrace the beautiful mess that you are in order to appreciate the light one needs to experience the darkness a clever person solves a problem a wise one avoids it keep it simple stupid so like i said like a wise is is two thumbs up but you know it's not always great to be right and people are hurting uh your life will get better with change so the universe is really showing people um who other people are they're offering their i don't know the universe is offering us lots of opportunities um to heal a lot of different things and people are having a hard time with the anxiety of it all uh, I've never done this before. I've never, never, never. And that's okay. It's okay to do new things. I just saw 9-11. It's my favorite number. Don't be scared. All right, rats, don't be scared. That's what the rats are. They're afraid. It's a fated event. So, you know, there's a path that you should be working. Things are about to come full circle and a lot of karma, like I said, in death. Somebody's like, oh, because of the, life, the way that the life has been, I feel like people have lost faith. It's a renewal in faith as well targeted and a child orphan and a psychic so definitely gifts being gifted children could also also be gifted i don't know if the children are tormenting the people if there's a younger older energy uh but you know if it, se it seems like someone's out to get you they are somebody's got a target on their back 
Um, this feels very much.